All right, last exercise is the pull hits. So you're going to start with your right hand at the tab, left hand at your top tape. You're going to pull apart, so your right hand is pulling out, and your left hand is going to pull out. At the same time, you're going to let go of the flag halfway. You're going to recatch right back in the exact same spot. So pull up, pull up. You want to make sure you're aiming for two hands at the exact same time, not one and then the other. One, two. Whoop. <laughs> one, two. You gotta stop watching the camera. Uh, so your exercise is too slow, four fast. We only did one part of it. I'll go ahead and show you the rest of it so you can work on it at home. So you five, six, seven, eight. Pull one, hold two. Three and four and five, six, seven, eight and one and two and three and four and one around. So the exercise is going to go through what we call around the world. So you learn one straight up and down position. Your next one is to throw from straight up and down. Let it go a little bit farther and try to catch it at this what we call 45 angle or port angle. So you have to give it a little bit more rotation to get that extra quarter. So then in the exercise, you would then throw from this angle to this angle. So you're gonna go from here, back to that angle, back to that angle. Again, you would do two slow, four fast. One, two, hold, hold, one, two, hold, hold, and one, and two, and three, and four. Then your next angle and around the world goes to flat. So you're gonna have to throw it again a quarter more, all the way to flat. The only difference with the flat catch is where your hands are going to go on the placement. Your hand should go around a third into the flag to halfway and it should be catching on this side splitting the tapes. So instead of catching tape and tab like we did for the first two, on this middle one it's going to come a little bit different. You also want to make sure your tab is at your belly button so you want to be centered on the flag right in your spin spot. So you're going from the 45 all the way to flat. Then you're going to do the same thing, flat to flat, flat to flat. So five, six, seven, eight, one to flat, hold, hold, one to flat, hold, hold, and one, and two, and three, and four. Now you notice the flat ones to get it all the way around, you have to cross your hands a little bit more. So in this instance and all the rest of them I'm pulling apart, on your flat ones, I'm actually going to pull across. So this hand is going to come down and across, and this hand is going to go up and across. And I'm crossing them to get that around. So watching myself on camera. So your last one goes from flat to a cross angle. So in this angle, my left arm is coming across my body to that tape. My right arm is coming across my body to that tape. So you should be at a hip shoulder. This one at my shoulder, this one at my hip, just across my body. You'll also notice that that flip is about one quarter rotation. So you've been doing full rotations and then one and a quarter rotations, one and a half, all of that. And now you're going to do a tiny, tiny flip. So from here, I'm going from flat. All the silk is going to do is go up and come down, up, down coming across. Then you're going to repeat your pull hits from this nice funky catch. Yeah? Over, across, hold, hold, over, across, hold, hold, and one, and two, and three, and four. So far so good. So your last little bit of this is you're going to go around the world twice, nice and fast. So coming from your last cross thing, you're going to go to straight, to port, to flat, to cross. So you're going to go one straight, one angle, one flat, one, one straight, angle, one flat, one cross. And there's your pull head exercise.